This must be the year of sidearms because I am just drowning in them. Let's check out the gecko. This gecko was sent to me by Sea Yard Nerf, uh, so it's worth mentioning that. Um, I didn't pay for the blaster itself, so keep that in mind with my review. Uh, my opinions are always my own regardless of who sends stuff to me, um, but ultimately this is not like a, a fully review channel, so take that as you will. The gecko is designed by Edrian, and I'm not familiar with Edrian, but I'm assuming he must be Canadian because there's a little maple leaf here and a A. Eh? <laughs> uh, coming from uh, Minnesota, that's, uh, you know, we're pretty close to Canada. I uh, love the Canadians <laughs> that I've met, and uh, I know they've got quite a blooming uh, nerf scene up there as well because we do ship quite a few packages. I think they're our number one destination after the U.S. Um, I'm not sure what else Adrian has designed, but I really do love the aesthetic and sort of uh, almost like cyberpunk feel a little bit. Like if you went a little different with the colors, it's a neat, neat blaster and a very cool design. So I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, they do next. The Gecko is a sidearm blaster. It is essentially a pistol. It is a top slide prime, mag through grip, and it uses standard worker geometry angled mag, which I think is a really great choice. This is one of my favorite sidearms I've seen so far. Uh, it is quite comfortable given that you do have to have the grip through the mag. It's got a very easy prime. And it has been kind of, I think, really well thought out from start to finish. There's this sort of like peek through effect that happens in a couple places. And on this blaster, I really like it. Um, the barrel itself is ported. I assume that's to help with uh, dispersion of the air for uh, Venturi effect or some other thing. Someone can tell me down in the comments because that's actually something I don't know a whole lot about. But uh, given that that barrel is covered, I'm trying to understand why when the barrel is covered, it's like that, but I assume it's something about air volume to the length of the barrel, uh, but uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. The Gecko is a great side arm. I actually really like that there's no mag release on this blaster, so it is simply just pull the mag and it's got a nice snap. It feels very good in there. I believe they're just using a standard spring and a uh, piece of 3D printed plastic, but it has a very good feel to it. The trigger itself is also very snappy. One of my biggest complaints with a blaster like the Zinc, which is much, much smaller, it's worth noting. Uh, overall, it is a lot smaller profile, so this would be a lot easier to holster and hold, but the trigger pull on this guy is pretty, is pretty massive, and it's been a little bit difficult for me to use in comparison uh, to the Gecko. However, the Gecko performance is uh, around 113 FPS. I'll, we'll put the actual numbers up on the screen. As with all of the videos, I'll do a rough chronograph before the video, and then we'll shoot a 20 shot average under controlled lighting situation to make sure that we're giving you an accurate number. So if I ever say something on screen and it's different than what I'm saying, you can't say something on screen. If we put something on screen and it's different than what I'm saying, you'll know why. Uh, this specific unit has the holster magnets integrated, which is great because that's my mounting point of choice for a variety of blasters, so it makes it really interchangeable for my setup. It's really just a, a satisfying blaster. It fires reliably, it's, it's easy to prime, and overall, I, I think it's just a really solid piece. It's got nice styling. It kind of has like a, um, kind of a, aggressive look to it, I guess, and I like that there's a lot of bright colors on it, so it's very clearly a toy when you're out running around in a public space. Um, they do sell magazines that I believe are possibly included. I'll, of course, have all the links in the description, but the magazines themselves um, are nice if you want a nice small, small flush one, but let's be real, you're probably going to grab a worker mag because the capacity alone, unless you're using it as just a dedicated sidearm, it, the capacity is really going to be nice, being able to hold 18 or 20 rounds um, in a single magazine. We also thought we would test out the short worker magazines, and they do indeed work now that these are available separate. We do have these on the shop. We'll have them in a couple different colors coming up as well. And it's just long enough that it fits there, and you can still grab it out pretty easily without having to, to fuss too much. So that's a nice welcomed addition. There's nothing wrong with a printed magazine, though from a cost perspective, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to compete in an injection mold. Uh, as far as uh, quality and durability and reliability from, to a magazine here. Um, this, I believe, uses one of the foam blast drum springs or a very similar style spring if it's not the exact one. Um, but it's nice to see 
uh, that this it works with the existing magazines that people already have. It's kind of hard sometimes when you've got a, a proprietary mag like the Zinc has, or I guess in the, in the case of the Dart Zone Pro Mark II, we've got an integrated mag, which is also, I guess, acceptable, but it's a different, different kind of thing. Now, from a size perspective, I don't know that I would run like a long HVZ with this blaster due to the size and weight. I really, really like having a minimalist loadout. Um, if you'd like to see a video on my current loadout, um, let me know in the comments and we'll do that as a video coming up as well. I have a new HVZ loadout I'm gonna run and uh, probably some other different loadouts I'm gonna kind of mix and match. But from a weight and size perspective, I could definitely see taking the Mark II over the Gecko. However, the Gecko is going to act a lot better as an actual primary, given that you can reload it with magazines and throw a 20 round mag on the blaster, or rather an 18 with a bumper is what we've got here. Um, it's just gonna be a lot more formidable than six shots out, out of this blaster, uh, and then having to reload. So it, it, it's kind of, there are different purposes for sure. You know, all these pistols that have come out, these sidearms are kind of blowing my mind because when I started it in the hobby, this was a sidearm. <laughs> or, you know, a hammer shot, obviously, but that was pretty much it. It's like the, the offerings that we had at that point were really weak. Nobody was 3D printing anything. And I think where it's come now, where we have just a slew of different, you know, sidearm options, and I don't even have them all. I mean, there's more, more and more coming each week. The reviews for these 3D printed blasters, the blasters are coming out so fast that I can't even keep up with them anymore. So another thing I really want to hear from all of you is, We've been doing a lot of reviews recently and part of it is just spring. Spring comes around and the new blasters like Hyper come out and there's a lot of new content from Dart Zone and whatnot and a lot of 3D printed makers producing more content. But I wanna hear from you, do you want us to keep doing reviews or should we shift and do less content overall and do more mod guides and more um, content that no one else is doing or isn't doing as well. Uh, I love giving my insight on blasters and I love seeing all these different blasters and playing with them, but I do feel like we're getting a little review heavy. So I would love your opinion on that. Might throw up a poll on YouTube as well regarding that to see where we go moving forward. Thank you so much uh, to CR Nerf for sending me this blaster. I will do a breaking wind video in the future as well because that is the funkiest little blaster I've seen in a while. This Gecko is a great blaster. I'm gonna give it five out of five. I think it's very well executed and it's a really solid platform. Uh, all the links in the description to buy the blaster from CR directly. I believe they're over on Etsy, but I'll correct myself in the description. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm out of darts. <laughs>